Hi there, <clears throat> Chris Loxley here. I am here with you today to do a little work on Humoresque in Suzuki Book 3. So I have a couple students working on it right now and I want to do a video that talks about some of the exercises for the two large shifts um, that are down at the bottom of the first page and then the top of the second page respectively um, when we get into the section that starts with <laughs> So, I believe that's measure 35, um, or 31, I want to say off the top of my head, and that 34 or 35 is the first shift. So, um, there's really two things to think about in here. One, at the beginning of this passage, you have to make sure that your extensions are large enough. The distance between the first and second finger has to be big enough um, when you're in your extended second position, or else quite a few notes are going to be out of tune. Also, it's very important to think of the extended position as just that, a position. It's not, hey, let me reach back for a note or two. It is, my hand is staying for all these notes in a single position that can touch all the notes. Not like... Right, where your fingers are kind of more doing sh little mini shifts than extensions. So that's the first thing that's very important. Second thing that's very important is obviously these large jump shifts. So Suzuki has some things on the second page that can help, and I'm going to basically just do my versions of these exercises for you today. So the first one is at the end of the first page where we have to jump from our C. <laughs> to our G and then play A, G, F or three, two, one. Right? So the first thing we have to do is we have to master the shift from our first finger C natural up to our second finger G natural. This is a perfect fit. It's really important to hear these shifts as much as anything. So I like to slide up and slide down and just practice feeling the distance. This is one of the things I call my siren slurs or my siren shifts. And once I've gotten pretty comfortable with that, I might do separate. which is the A, G, and F natural. Now, when I work on this with students, this is actually one of the hardest shapes to play on the cello. It's two whole steps between one, two, and three up in fifth position. Um, I like to have them work on Mary Had a Little Lamb in this shape so that they feel really comfortable with getting the pitches well in tune. So, much like the extensions you had down here where it was really important to stay in that shape, it's also extremely important that you're not one note by note shifting. So it's not. Right? You want to stay in a shape that's going to really serve all three of those notes. Okay? And then, of course, we need the synthesis of playing the measure just as is. pretty good about it, even though that F was a little bit sharp, we go back to the beginning of the line. And we go on, right? So 
obviously we jumped right into a, a line next that's extremely similar to the one we just played. It's actually pretty much identical except for the very end, right? So, in this one... We're jumping up to a C natural with our third finger. So it's a different slide shift we have to practice. So we have to practice... So, while the last one was a perfect fit, this one is actually a minor seventh. It goes from a D natural to a C natural. So, the thing, the seventh is a little harder for students to hear. Another great way to practice this, and I think it's also in the Suzuki book, is by practicing going to your first finger A natural. That is a fifth, just like the C to a G is a fifth, and that is something that your ear can really grab hold of. test it with your harmonic. Okay, from there, you just need to know your spacing, and in this case, it's not whole whole, it's actually half whole, which means half step between first and second fingers here, and then a whole step between second and third. It is very important that you set that shape as you shift. When I get up to my C natural, notice my hand is already in the appropriate shape. Okay? See? So I can already play. So. Can be a nice exercise. back to the beginning of that bar, or that line. Right? Let me move on. Great. Hopefully that was helpful as far as studying those two big shifts that happen in Humoresque in Book 3 of Suzuki. Thanks, everyone.